Crazy God story. Years ago, one of my friends, Peyton Jones, had got hired by a church in the UK to be their evangelist. So he moved there from California and he says when he got there, he tried to do all of the things there that don't work here in the US and he failed miserably. After a few years of constant failure, he threw the towel in and decided he wasn't going to try and do full-time ministry anymore. So he went to work there in the UK at a Starbucks inside of a Barnes & Noble bookstore. Now, while he wasn't trying to do ministry anymore, he was still trying to follow Jesus, which meant he was trying to demonstrate Jesus through the way that he lived and loved people. And he was also trying to talk to people about Jesus on a regular basis. So when the book The Da Vinci Code came out, a bunch of non-Christians that knew he was a Christian asked his opinion on it. They decided to all read it and then get together and talk about it. After they met and talked about the book, all of the non-Christians wanted to get together again and talk about it more, but Peyton Jones was like, man, there's just nothing left to talk about. Then one of the, the non-Christians said, well, what about the Bible? Isn't that about Jesus? Could we get together and talk about that? That was how Peyton Jones planted his first church in the most pagan country on earth. If you want to be effective at reaching the lost with the gospel, you've got to live like Jesus and love people like Jesus and talk to people about Jesus and then the Holy Spirit will use you to bring people to Jesus.